We've had this at the Florida Citrus Bowl. Terrific field turf. going to be great for the Champ Sports Bowl and the Capital One Bowl. Clock moving. 27 seconds to go. Cook throws. End zone. Cunningham. Touchdown. Jordan Cunningham, a three-yard touchdown reception, his eighth of the season, and we are an extra point away from being tied up. You think he's been coached by a savvy college receiver? When we look at this after the extra point, he did a nice job of kind of getting a little nudge there at the end and work back. Terrific throw by Doug Cook, and University has worked their way back from 14 down. Douglas Cook's second touchdown pass of the day. Daniel Braverman on for the point after. Amity with the hole. Cook is up, and it is good. And with 21 seconds left to go in the first half, University School has come back from a 14-0 deficit, a 13-play, 79-yard drive, 437 off the clock. Trinity State in the same formation, man-to-man. -man. Okay, he's going to work to the face. This is a back to the face freezer right there. And there he is. He gets that little bit of separation. He's a back shoulder fade. He makes it look like he's running to the corner. This guy gives a little shovel, and it's underthrown. Called a back shoulder fade. Well executed, coach, both at the receiver position and the quarterback. You can tell those guys have worked with offensive coordinator Ryan Schneider and wide receiver coach Kevin Beer because high school kids just don't execute that play that well. Jamonte Jones had the coverage, but uh, this kid, Jordan Cunningham, all the folks down at university school when I went out to their practice this week, now, you look at the size grade, he's a sophomore, 6'3", 175 as a wide receiver. Roger Harriet and all his coaches believe that this kid is going to be big, big time by the time he's getting ready to go to college. You know, and I, I, I mean, it's impressive what he's done today, what the t offense has done today. And he's a good-looking athlete, obviously showing the football IQ there with the back shoulder route. And, you know, it's surprising because Trinity secondary is as good as you'll find in Class 2B ton of prospects back there on the back half of their defense, but I really think for Trinity, they've got to get some pressure. Doug Cook is way, way too comfortable right now in the passing game. Braverman kick off, a low line drive. Picked up by Thomas Bobby with the 13. Okay. Taken down by number 35. Kevin Pierre, Pierre, the defensive line is 6'4", 210 pounds. The one thing I'd like to see when you're playing man coverage against a very good passing defense is you've got to not allow the receiver to get off the ball. You've got to do your work at the line of scrimmage, and we'll see if they don't go to some bump and run in that situation the next time um, through, too, right, because they were in man coverage, but they didn't bump and run them. It wasn't bump and run coverage, because that allowed the wide receiver to do what he wanted to. I'll tell you one thing, that is as good a first half as I've seen a quarterback play in a state finals game, and I've been doing it for a long time, Frank. I've seen the Mars, the Tebow's, the Ely's, the Aaron Murray's. Doug Cook against that defense. Woo! 23 of 28. No, right. 16 have, yards and two touchdowns for Douglas Cook on that last drive. 8 of 8 for 72 yards and picking up his second touchdown pass. There's a good look at Douglas Cook. And we talked about his older brother, Glenn, played at the University of Miami. Doug's going to make some scouts sit up and take notice with this performance in the championship game. We're tied at...